I'm here at the NRA National Farms Museum here at NRA headquarters with Phil Schreier, senior curator here at the museum. And Phil, welcome back to Curator's Corner. How are you, my friend? Fine, and yourself? Oh, man, I can't complain because no one will listen anyway. You know how it is. And the other half are happy to hear it. There you go. <laughs> what, do, what do we have today? Those are some handsome long guns right here in front of us. What do we got? Well, uh, you know, you wanted to... Uh see what's new and interesting in the museum. I love that. Nothing is newer than this gun right here. Okay. Uh, because literally it walked through the door this morning as a donation. How great is that? So I mean this is the newest gun in the museum so, right here. People, Curator's Corner, get to, Phil you're awesome, get to see us first. Yeah, this in the next segment both two guns walked in the door this morning. Love it, love it, love it. So what do we have? We got Russians. Russians are coming. Yes. So uh, tell me about it. This is the uh, the Berdan uh, Russian rifle that was actually made by Colt. It was designed by Hiram Berdan of the uh, U.S. Sharpshooters uh, during the Civil War. The uh, the the guys that that were very famous wearing the green uniforms that was Berdan Sharpshooters. He designed this rifle. It's a uh, it's a, a trap door. Mm. And it's a uh, 42 caliber, back then it was called 10.7 millimeter uh, Berdan. And this was the first cartridge that uh, was Berdan primed. We talk about boxer primed and Berdan primed with the two. two or this is the, uh, the first gun that was made for the Berdan primer. Ooh. And so you just draw it back. And pull the tr you know this is this cocks the gun right and then you uh, pull the trigger and it goes goes there bang she goes this one was actually made by Colt it's one of the the first uh, thirty thousand uh, that Colt made in 1867 1868 for the Russians and uh, this was a, a Russian infantry rifle and shortly after uh, uh, these were initially developed they uh, they came up with a, uh, a Berdan Type 2, and this is a, a bolt action. Oh, yeah. Now, it's still a single shot. Uh, there's no magazine in this, but this is the, uh, the bolt action. These were made in, in one of three different uh, armories in Russia, Tula, Ivesk, and something else I can't pronounce. Uh, so uh, there were three million of these made. Wow. And these were in service from uh, around 1868 uh, all the way through World War I, the Russians were using these. In fact, they weren't, re this was the standard Russian infantry rifle uh, during the uh, uh, Franco, I mean Franco, the, the Russo-Turkish War right. of 1877. And uh, it, it literally helps change armament history. Uh, because at the Battle of Plevna in 1877, uh, the Russians were besieging the Turks. It was a battle for the uh, what was left of uh, beginning the decline of the Ottoman Empire. And uh, even though the Russians f eventually overcame and, and, and won the, the, uh, the siege in the, in the battle, the, uh, the Turks inflicted a lot of casualties on the Russians over this long siege at Plevna. They had a lot of Winchester 1866 uh, rifles, repeaters, and they also had Peabody Mar Martini Henrys. And uh, the Russians took a lot of casualties in their single shot gun, although it was uh, a, a 10 millimeter, 42 caliber proved to be fairly effective. This round was a beautiful round, 1400 feet initial muzzle velocity. Uh, Everybody in Europe went to a magazine fed, or, you know, a gun that f could fire more than one shot. Right. Uh, even though these were new breech loaders, uh, they didn't have any capacity to them except by hand. Yeah, so the technology leads the way, especially in a situation like that where you need to load and load fast and get, you know, get the cartridge down the range there. So Exactly, and this gun was in service with the Russians from you know, 1867, 68, all the way up till it was formally replaced by the 1891 Mosin again. Thank you so much for sharing those first with us here on Curator's Corner. Our pleasure.